Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Shaylin with 8-Bit Co-op, and I am back with my next episode of Pillars of Eternity, and I am looking to complete, hopefully, part of, of the Temple's Ruin, so that we can hopefully figure out what's going on with... Oh, a Scalder Whelp. Whelp? Um, so we can figure out what's going on with the mystery of the people that were trapped down here. So... Oh, and a Scalder. So let's have everybody on the Scalder at first. That seems to make more sense, doesn't it? So... Okay... Oh, I did not notice that two of our people have... Minor fatigue. That is never a good thing. So... Okay... Let's try to get this scolder down as quickly as possible. So that we can... Hopefully... Get them, uh... Rested up. Because we... It's high time Most for some rest. <laughs> yeah, it's high time for some rest. Oh, what dramatics. What dramatics. I think first we need to loot. Monster of the Dreadfire Archipelago. I like these books. I think that I'm going to take some time. Because I'm, I'm always really interested in lore. I think I'm going to take some time to read some of the lore. But it's probably not going to be camera time, because that, I think, would just be... How did we... Oh, because it's just spotted. So let's just go ahead and put our people into... I don't know what's going on. It seems like sometimes the screen just doesn't want to move when cool. it... Oh, there's a scalder back there anyway. It seems like sometimes the screen does not want to move for me whenever I'm in, um... Combat, almost. So, that is an issue, most definitely. Uh, let's get rid of these two scalders, and then we can go from there. These seem pretty easy to kill, which makes me quite happy. But then again, if they weren't easy to kill... Maybe we'd get more XP for... Oh, wow. Look at... Yes. What is going on with... Why... Does our priest... Priest... Technically priestess... Still have a... Oh my goodness. She doesn't even have a ranged weapon. There were none to give her. So let's see who we can... I would rather her fight with the sword and board then have her fight with the sword and board first of all she's like a level one player she has a sword and a stiletto so um so I'm going to go ahead and put these in here. Medium shield, what does he have? Medium shield brown, medium shield heater. Eh, six of one, half dozen of another. Are the aesthetics any different? I like those aesthetics better. So, let's see what else we can get from this room. Oh, a fine sword. So let's go ahead and give him the fine sword. Well, let's see. Doop. Well... What does fine do for us? Oh, it increases your accuracy. So I'm gonna go ahead and give... Go ahead and give him the fine sword. Okay. It seems like every time we turn around, that Scalder Whelp is just going to 
ding us, so... To his grace, I write to implore. The rest of this letter is crossed out in several places and then abandoned altogether. The better part of valor. The better part of valor is... what? That's what I want to know. Ooh, scroll of jolting touch. Let's go ahead and give that to her. Another book. The Dozens. Seven men have fought violently valiantly. Oh, okay, it's about a it's about a group. But you know there's another in the um American culture there's another thing called the dozens. These prayer scrolls are coated in a thick layer of grime and dozens or dust. See? I started thinking about the dozens and look what happened. But there's in American culture there's something else about the dozens and so that's what I had on my my brain housing per se. Okay, so let's go up here. Hmm, this is kind of odd, but and see if we can see anything in here. Let's see what we can see. Oh, it's a lock pick. I think I'm here. She is good with mechanics. It's oh. It's a Warhammer. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. What is this here? Engraved Silver Key. I understand your concerns, Sister Nedra, but we are safest here within the temple. What's wrong with... What wrong have we done? Lord Draedric would not risk his position by harming us when we have brought so, ma so much prosperity to the village. Wharton pretends at alarm. He knows full well that these are empty threats and means to frighten us into departing our home. Are we to abandon Gildan Vale to heretics? Wharton, too, will play his part when the time comes. Our temple will stand long after Lord Raedric's hold is but gravel and memory. Huh. That is quite interesting. Of course. The Great Western Stag and Book of Verses. What does the Great Western Stag say? One of the things that I have found is skimming these books is sometimes really important because they can give you clues to the stories that happen or to the... They can give you clues to the any puzzles that you may come up against, so... Okay, this one is all about a hymn, it's a book of verses. Verses and Psalms, so at least we know exactly. I don't know what it is about my affinity for the escape key today. And go ahead and quick save because we know that there's someone down here. We know, we know you're here. So let's see where you've gone. There you have gone. And now he knows we are here as well. But you are just a whelp. Oh, there is another just a whelp. Okay, so those whelps were dispatched quickly. Let's see. Vermin have scoured these plates, though mold still grows in green-black clumps across the table. That's kind of gross, except unless you want to do some experiments with penicillin. Easy now. Then, perhaps, that would be of some use. However... These collapsed stones are pocked with burrows and narrow crevices. Claw marks and dung mark the passage of beasts. I wonder. We never went up into this room. I was going to say, it's really off, awful dark down there. There seems to be... 
a bunch of spitters. I, l you know, some people are really afraid of spiders, and I have never myself found that issue to be. But let me see if I can just pull this around here and then get my crew to walk over there real quick. One of the things that I used to have is I used to have a lizard and I loved my lizard so much he was so awesome he uh, wasn't allowed to be in the dorms but I had him in the dorms anyway and so I named him taboo and I would go to the class and even when they weren't when you know nobody knew he was there but you know I'm sorry this is a setup you know there's just not one little baby spider in here oh. but we were doing reconstruction on a dorm. Ah, there is just one. That's awesome. But we were doing reconstruction on a dorm. We were doing, like, the asbestos abatement and all of that stuff. And it was really cool because, I mean, come on. What kind of... Oh, wait, hold on. Visitors up to the ritual floor. The redemption for these. Forgotten struck the largest bell first rather than the second. The rest is illegible. Okay. Well, one of the things that um, they would do is he would just crawl up under my hair, and he would just the sit there part of valor. and go to class with me. Nobody would ever know he was there. And it was so cool because whenever I got out of class, I'd just take him for his walk. Yes, lizards love walks, too. And I'd have his little leash on him when he went for a walk, because he had a tendency to run out in traffic, which is not a good thing. But... Leave it to me! I was walking through a grocery store not long ago, and I saw a lady walking with her, her lizard sitting on top of her head. And I was like, how do you go into a grocery store with a, a reptile on your head? But down down where we're at people go into stores with bare feet with all kinds of crazy stuff even reptiles on their head it's kind of kind of crazy kind of crazy I'm telling you a letter home mother have asked brother Edric to carry this letter for he travels to new Homer he Omar come morning with what goes with him goes what corn I have I hope it I hope it will ease the surprise of an unexpected homecoming, for I mean to follow in a few days' time. Our village is much changed, and though I do not wish for you to worry, I do not feel it is safe to remain. Sounds like somebody was a bit concerned about what was going on. Whoever sat here left in a hurry, ink has dripped across the scroll, obscuring its contents. I'm just going to walk around and see What's if I this? can't okay what is it and where did you see it oh I see it now you see it this pile of furniture is branded with scorch marks it took me a moment but now I see it's highlighted in purple oh oh what is up here That is so weird. I don't know. Oh, this is just a shortcut between the two areas. Well, at least it's convenient. You know, we could have ran around, but it's convenience, I guess. You know, that's why we go to... What's this? Oh, trap detected. Yeah, we definitely don't yes. want to do a trap. Oh, ring of overseeing. I like overseeing. Sp Potion of spirit, sh spirit Shield. Oh, damage reduction. That is always helpful. Garnet and Turquoise. Okay, you know what I forgot to do? Unfortunately, I forgot to click on who's going to get the stuff. The other thing I like is about this game in particular is that whenever you pick up a trap, that character, oh, whoever right, dismantles the trap, gets the trap. And that makes sense to me. Oh, wow. There is a lot of... Scalders in there. So... I but... 
Feels like poison. Feels like poison. Oh man, she's getting poisoned oh, like crazy. Long, but I'm uh, three, five, two. So I'm gonna have everybody attack this guy here. Get that one down. Then come over and get this one down. Feels like poison. Yes. Let's have our priestess throw out some healing here. So. A haze fills the air, coalescing steadily into a blur of dust and mist. It gathers into the outline of what appears to be a dwarf, sh a shimmering echo that fades in and out of sight. See, there's the dwarf. Whoop. But stronger than sight is a sense within you of a powerful energy. It roils and seethes with a grief that seems to spill into your own thoughts, tainting them until the sorrow is your own. Like a crashing wave, the energy surges towards you, towards and into you, and suddenly you are elsewhere. Before you is a brightly lit stone corridor lining, lined with torches and gleaming crystals. You're running, your footsteps echoing off the stone around you. For You forgot to tie your sandals, and they're slipping from your feet, fouling your steps. You're late, again. The right's going to begin without you. You hear the tolling of a bell, and your spirits lift as you recognize the fir familiar warped tone of the right hand, representing the first of the dawn stars to appear in the night sky and the last to fade in the dawn light. You pray fiercely that this is the first of the chimes and not the last. The lights fade, as does the memory, and when your eyes clear, the spirit is gone. Oh, that's sad. Like the better that. part of valor. That was a good spirit. A uh, scepter, an agate, and a oh, copper panned, copper panned, copper. A powerful odor of spices rises from one of these dishes. Vibrant dyes and grain seeds fill the others. I shall. So let's go ahead and walk around and see if we can find anything else while we're. No, I guess we can't go in the middle there. Hmm. Okay. See, and that's one of the things about the sneak is that even though you can detect things, you have to be within a certain distance of it. So it's not like you can be, you know, so far away. Addendum added. Buried secrets. The door to the lower floor appears to be sealed with some enchantment. There's a set of bells beside the door which may play a part in opening it. Well, since you mentioned it... Three bells hang from the stone protrusion that runs along this wall. Years of dust and grime coat the metal. There is one large bell at the center flanked by the two smaller ones. Now, one of the things that I remember is that we read a note that said that they rang the large bell first and they weren't supposed to. So, I'm going to start with the left bell. The bell's merry tolling sounds once more through the ruins. A strange hush falls upon the ruins, muting the sound of the bells and the eternal drip of damp stones alike. And then sudden, a, then a sudden dissonant toll sounds from the bell, so loud and piercing that you are compelled to cover your uh, your ears. Okay, so that didn't work. The peculiar chime rings through the ruins. There's a quiet melodic chime from all three bells before their discordant voices meet in one powerful rising rush of sound. It seems to fill the whole temple, a driving flood of song that drowns, out, drowns all other thought. As the tolling fades, you hear a creak from the direction of the doors as the passage to the lower level swings open. Well, I guess that was a good guess.
Hmm. Laying low. Laying low. We're hiding out. Heading to the next floor, which will take us to our next episode. So I want to thank you for joining me for this episode of Pillars of Eternity, and I hope that you join me in the next episode where I continue my journey down to the next floor of this awesome Eothosian temple, or ruined temple at that point, and thank you for watching.